Greetings, humans. And I'm Vicky, and I'm George. And welcome back to the Windows World Forces. So, you know, we, sh we should talk and introduce the song and be respectful to the band that we're featuring and so on, but I really just want to hit play. I agree. No. <laughs> the song is Rising, the band is Love by Sheila. Love them. Right? <laughs> yes! I promise we're gonna let it go, but I wanna talk about it. Okay. Yeah, I wanna pretend I wanna listen to you. <laughs> okay. The verse. That's not offensive at all. The verse. And you're not gonna like me saying this. Is very, very, very reminiscent of Eagle Heart by Stratovarius. Except. Asami sounds only about a million times better than Tolkien. She does. You do know Tolkien's the guitarist of Stratovarius, right? Uh, he was, he was also the lead singer, I think, back then. Really? They didn't have Koti Pelto yet? No, no, he's only on the last, like, four albums. So, I wanted to put that out there, because you can tell that they're a band that has taken a lot of influences. They yeah. didn't build their sound out of nothing, but they know how to use it, and they yeah. know how to put their identity in there. And this one, compared to the live ones, it's more low energy a bit. Yeah. Also because of the mixing, the guitars aren't roaring so much, the yeah. everything sounds tighter though. Yeah. I would say I would say the energy and aggression. Well they're not exactly an aggressive band, but they do have they do pack a punch every now and then. But the energy is kind of to the background a bit and the vibes are pushed forward. Yeah. It's so pretty. Especially with that chorus. That chorus is so pretty, yeah. I think this is their most charming song. Yes. It's it's the kind of thing you go like this. God, I'm gonna hate watching that back on camera. You're editing it. I'm editing it. We go? We go.
the ending, bro. I want to hear it again. You know, you know, when I said the energy was a bit more to the background, I changed my mind. Yes. I think they changed their mind through the second part of the song, too. They were like, we made them all tender and feely, and now they have their guard down, so we're going to whack them. Yeah. That, that's how I felt. That's how they organized the song. It's so good. Dude, so the bridge section, before the solos, let's not even get into that yet. Okay. But the bridge section, you had, yeah, you had the piano and it was running like crazy. You had the bass, mm-hmm. it was singing. You had Asami, she was also singing. <laughs> and you had those beautiful lead melodies going on as well. So it was like, you didn't have like a rhythmic structure anymore. I mean, you still had the pace, which is pretty solid, but every instrument went its own path. So it was kind of where the whole band was like, now we part ways, and then when the solo comes back in, we go back together. Can I say something about that bridge too? You know what that bridge was doing? What? It was rising. I'm sorry, (laughs) that was so bad. (laughs) It literally was like they were going higher and higher and higher. Yeah, they were. You do that when you rise. And then the solos, yeah. And it's, it, it was the kind of like shred fest on one side, shred fest on the other side, come together and harmonize again. Yeah. And it was just so feely on the last half before they, uh, uh, settled back into the chorus. It was crazy good. I love this. And then the ending. Yes. Yeah, those transitions at the end. And I also like the orchestral hits and orchestral, orchestra stuff, orchestring in the background through the riffs. You should stop talking. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we really appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to more, don't forget to subscribe with bells. Thank you very much for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed your stay. And we'd love to see you back at the Wimilberry. Of course, yeah.